What's up YouTube? Pilot Neo Zeon here with another video tutorial. I've been searching around on YouTube for popular asked questions and I've noticed that this one question keeps popping up and that is how do you walk around freely in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020? Which I think a lot of people are getting confused about that because you are not walking around, you're actually in drone mode which can make it seem like you're walking around because you can move freely about away from your plane and check out the airports, animals, or whatever's nearby and virtually go as far as you want away. Also allowing you to get those really cool uh, snapshots when you pause your plane and stuff and getting those cool photos that you see on the internet. So in this video I'm going to show you how you get into drone mode and how you use it and basically just make it easy as can be. So without further delay, let's get to it. American 2531, I'm going to just take coming back to the field. Uh, looks like we, we suspect we took the bird number one engine. We need about 10 minutes to run through everything if you can give us vector. Hey, 2531, not a problem. Fly heading of 270, you'll be on the heading for about six miles. I'm going to turn you back to the uh, east. All right, so 270 heading, American uh, 2531. So guys, let's get to it. Go up here to your toolbar. This is the beginner's way. Go up here to your camera, click on showcase, and now you'll see drone mode and these drone options. So you can click, well, once you're in showcase, you're technically in drone mode, and you'll have all these different options like external camera views right here, which you can click on if you're trying to get a cool recording. You also will have fixed camera, free camera, which free camera is the big one and you'll be able to do a lot of things with drone mode um, such as uh, you're able to adjust your focus, zoom, um, get it to lock onto your plane and follow your plane. Uh, it can do tons of things, a lot more than this little option right here shows you. And I'll, I'll show you more about that in just a second. But uh, so just getting this and if you get lost in this little screen right here when you're on showcase just hit reset position up here and uh, you can fix all that but I uh, see now we're in free drone mode free cam mode and we're able to move up and down spin around you can adjust your speed on how fast you can go which is at I think 4% and when it's at 100% guys I'm telling you you're going to like Mach 2 is what it feels like but you're able to move around freely and it's, it's really cool when you go to especially handcrafted bald airports from the marketplace because a lot of them have actual architecture inside of them that someone graphically designed and there's like terminals and people and computers and baggage and like little fast food joints so it's really really neat but even some of the default airports like this one here have a little bit of stuff you could check out inside like the air tower here some computers you know you can come out here on a busy day you can go to like dallas and stuff i like to watch people take off and land and sometimes just watch people who have no idea what they're doing or people just being stupid it's, it's good it's all in good humor and fun but uh yeah so this is what a lot of people like i said are getting confused about but real quick a quicker way to get into this mode is to see i also play with a keyboard and a mouse as well with my joystick and my thrust thruster by uh by hodis so and a controller so i have it all going on i just clicked the wrong option there i need to go to control options so you'll see all the things i've hooked up up here that I use but I use my keyboard basically as my quick quick links to whatever I'm doing my shortcuts so instead of having to go to that screen I have a toggle drone set on the keyboard so basically I learned all these little features right here which you can also learn them on the Xbox controller as well so you know when you're not using your joystick and whatever but I like the keyboards right in front of me but uh 
I assign toggle drone and then I just I assign it to V for vector and B for Bravo just two buttons right next to it. I hit that and I'm immediately in drone mode and then I've had most of these other optional options memorized and, uh, and I'm able to work with those you know while still keeping a hand on the joystick and hand on the keyboard so I like it better that way but you have the same option like I said on Xbox controller just depending on your setup and what you have like I said, I have the whole shebang going on, it feels like. But uh, I like having the keyboard for shortcuts. That way, you know, I don't, the controller's great, but it just it's easier for me just to let go of my joystick and throttle and go straight to the keyboard. But uh, all in here, if you search for drone in search, you'll come up all these options. Because it's going to be pretty hard to find if you don't search it in the bar right there. Because I couldn't find it for the longest time. And then I've even heard some people say that that showcase doesn't pop up at first until they go into there. So I'm not sure about that and I can't comment on that. But yeah, so move around freely here. Um, let's do a quick little takeoff. Uh, yeah, and this is me showing a little bit of the zoom mode right here you can do. Like I said, and you can also do the focus, which is really cool. And there's a, uh, a couple... Uh, lens effects and stuff you can do they're pretty neat but yeah uh, I want to do uh, a takeoff and one of the external cams and when you get this cool view of the plane from a different direction and I also want to show you how you can get those cool pictures in the air by hitting quick pause and going into drone mode so here we are just pull this back up right now. God, I don't want it to be too much to take in. Let's, we'll go down here to our fixed camera. Set a free camera. We'll click on fixed camera. Like I said, this is all in showcase. Showcase basically means drone mode. And just pick one of these that you like. I think this one is going to do plenty. Yep. Uh, and by the way, guys, if you are in free cam mode with the drone you do not have control of the plane you have to be in fixed camera to still have control of the plane so if you're in free cam you do not have control of the plane so you're either going to have the plane paused or have an autopilot because you will crash and to get back to the plane just get out of drone mode like i said just set it to a key bind or something and then just click it again and it'll take you right back out right back to your plane but yeah, so see, so you can get this cool takeoff like this right here. Hit quick pause like I just did right here. We'll go into drone mode. And you can get a lot of really cool, cool pictures and thumbnails like this so just check this out super cool but these are some things I like to do get in drone mode my plane somewhere up there paused and just search stuff out like the aircraft carriers in San Diego the giraffes right here uh, if y'all have not checked out the all the animals in the game there are quite a few you definitely need to do that. Um, but what else did I see today when I did this? Yes, uh, pink flamingos. Look at this. I will say it's actually cooler to fly with the flamingos <laughs> in like your cub than it is to do it in drone mode. But uh, still pretty neat. But I uh, just able just to check out the world and just really experience it. Uh, what else? I want to check out let's check out some some black bears let's do that oh yeah some black bears right here and they never even know that you're here which is you know crazy you can hear my airplane above me in Paul's mode but uh if you ever don't know how to find or if you don't know how to find the animals let me tell you real quick how you do it it's really easy so when you're going to start a flight 
Here, I'll pull up the screen here and show you. So when you're going to start a flight, and like you're searching an airport, just go over here to your left on your plane to your search bar, and you can actually type in the animal's name. Well, you could also say, well, what if I don't know all the animals? You can type in fauna, F-A-U-N-A, into the search bar, and it will show you every animal in the game and their location. And you just click the animal that you're wanting to see, and it'll come up as a point of interest, set it as your departure, then hit fly, and you will see the paw print right there under you. It'll be right there under you, and then you can immediately pause, and boom, you can see the animals. Uh, this is me doing some more just free droning around here at the Great Pyramids of Giza. Sun setting over here. But yeah, I, I actually did not know that the pyramids were surrounded by so much city that they were kind of just like this one random open area and then just surrounded by city. I didn't know that. I thought they were still far away from everything. But I guess that's how it is. But uh, yeah, I just want to show you this video, guys. If you like what you see right here hey please do me a favor hit that subscribe button guys I'm new on YouTube but really help me out hit that subscribe hit that like button and come back I try to release two to three videos a week when I can about different things but uh, thank you for watching if you have any personal questions about this at all just message in the comments and I'll get back to you I promise as always guys happy flying